Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome host. My name is Deja. So this is very unlike me. I've never done this before. I forgot to film my intro to my video and I just parked my car. So girl, anyway, I'm going to give y'all a review on the Jackie Anna Times uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So if y'all want to see my thoughts and how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Hey girl, so if you follow the beauty community, then you... Hold on know that Jackie Aina just released a palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. If my voice sounded weird, I apologize. I just woke up. I'm a night shift worker, but anyway, Jackie Aina just released <clears throat> get it together. Just released a palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills like this. This is the box. It's really pretty. It's holographic. It has oh, oh y'all can see that. It has her logo right there and Anastasia Beverly Hills on the bottom. So I was super excited to get my hands on this palette. This honestly was a release that I did not see coming. So when she, when it's dropped, I was like, Jackie, like you didn't, girl, my feelings. But this is the palette. It looks pretty similar to the box. It is textured. Uh, this is so. This is pretty. First of all, this has Jackie Ina written all over. And if I'm not mistaken, her now fiance is the one who helped her to come up with her logo. So the palette so pretty it comes with 14 shades and it comes with a mirror like all Anastasia palettes and it comes with a brush I'm not gonna swatch all of the colors for you guys but this is my first time swatching them with you guys here so the first one that I'm gonna swatch is Soleil and it's described as a metallic soft peach with a gold shift so It is really freaking pretty. Then the next one is Supreme. Wait, hold on. No, I'm not swatching Supreme. I'm going to swatch pretty much the shimmers in the palette. So the next one I'm going to swatch is Zam. It's sparkling rose gold. You can definitely tell the difference in between those. Then the next one that I'm going to swatch is Wigglies, which is a metallic cranberry red. I don't know why I swatched on my hand. I probably should have swatched somewhere else. That's a larger area. Yeah, that's Wigglies. Um, the next one that I'm going to swatch is called Shuttington, and it's a metallic violet with a blue shift. Oh, not blue. That's really pretty. Hold on, girl. Let me wipe off my hand. The next one that I'm swatching is Trust Issue Issues, and it's a sparkling white gold. I'm gonna go. Over here. Then there's Dwalas, which is a metallic golden olive. In the palette, this really does it like looks like a mustard yellow greenish type metallic. Hold on, girl. We got two more uh two more shimmers here to swatch. The next one is sponsored, which is they describe it as a metallic chocolate with teal shift. That's pretty. And then the last one is lituation, which they describe as metallic deep taupe with violet shift. And there you have the colors all swatched out of order on my hairy arm, but that's neither here nor there. So, so I am gonna go ahead and play with this palette today. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lips with a um, P. Louise base, I almost said Anastasia base, the P. Louise base in, in the shade Rumor 3. Once I have my base tapped on, I'm gonna take the shade Credit, which is this chocolate brown here that's in the palette. And I'm gonna take my ColourPop E1 brush and I'm going to brush Credit all throughout the crease. First of all, this is this is pigmented AF. Anastasia, their palettes are pretty good with pigments. Um, do I have another Anastasia palette? This might be the first Anastasia palette that I own. Like, I'm serious. I'm gonna go through my, I'm pretty sure this is the first Anastasia palette. Kudos to you, Jackie, and for giving me to buy my first Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, girl. Once I have credit, I'll swept out my crease. I'm gonna go in with the shade Ginger right here. Um, I wanna see how this works. I'm kind of skeptic how it's gonna work on darker skin complexion. Girl, hold on, I'm finna see. 
Okay, no, actually it's doing something. And this is a Morphe M433 brush. Okay, Auntie Jackie. I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm just gonna take and go right on top of credit with ginger. I really wanna see the difference that it will make in my eyeshadow. And the palette does have fallout, you guys. But um, for me, fallout is not a big deal. I get my dress messy. I expect palettes to have fallout. I mean, it's makeup in the palette, so. Ginger is a nice transition shade on me. I know it's kind of harder for y'all to see because of my lighting or whatever, but it is a nice transition shade. I can see it and what I love is that these shadows do not seem powdery. Going in with my MAC 239 brush, yeah, 239, I'm gonna take the shade Big Wig, this purple, and I'm going to apply that to the outer crease of my eye and see what happens. She has pigment. I'm loving it. So I have Big Wig tapped on the outer corners of my eye. And then with that same brush, I'm gonna go into Pinker, which is this shade here. This is pink. <laughs> and I'm trying to use multiple colors throughout the palette. Um, let me just tap this next to. I'm trying to use multiple colors in the palette to see, you know, how they all blend together and they are blending really nicely. Like they go on my lids pretty easily. Like I'm not having any issues as far as that. Next, I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna wet it with some MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna take the shimmer shade. Mm. I'm gonna go on with Lituation. This one here on the end. And let me just see how this all blends together. Let me see what we gonna get here. I think I went with this one because it's a more muted shimmer. And the other ones, I'm not trying to do anything too crazy on my eyes today. I don't recall from Jackie's video if she said if any particular base works better with the shimmers. Yeah, I don't recall if she said that one works better than the other, but like one base works better than the other. But these are going on pretty, pretty good, pretty smooth. I'm loving it. Then I think I'm going to take the shade Wigglies just a little bit and apply that between um, Pinker and Lituation just so, oh, I said a little bit, but I went a little heavier than what I thought. Okay, that's all right though, because I'm liking the way that this is coming off. Wigglies is definitely pigmented. Like I really barely tapped my brush in the shade and got pigment galore. I'm just taking the first brush that I use with no additional product on, on it and just sweeping back throughout my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner. I'm gonna use my Morphe Felt Tip Liquid Black Eyeliner and I think I'm gonna attempt to do a wing. I think, girl, don't hold me to it, hold on. Of course, one wing looks bomb and super feminine and the other one just looks janky as hell, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser as my primer. It really has been my go-to lately. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and everything off my camera because um, it's nothing new. It's not a new routine or anything. It's just my go-to. Y'all know my baby, my CoverGirl full, full, full spectrum matte ambition in that. Hold on, girl. So I went ahead and applied my foundation, yeah, my foundation, my concealer and powder off camera. So I'm gonna come back now and use my True Complexion Black Radiance Contour Palette and just bronze up my face a little bit. That routine is still the same. So I just figured I'd do it off of camera. I don't see how some of y'all can slick down y'all edges every day. I cannot do it. I'm not about that late edges life. Next, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Intense 
ultimate intense auto stay liner and apply it and this is in deepest brown i'm going to apply that to my waterline going back into jackie's palette i'm going to take a flat brush and i'm going to take the shade credit and apply that to my lower lash line Next, moving on to my fairy lip collab, I'm gonna take my BFF4 lippy pencil with the Shayla X ColourPop collab and apply that to my lips. And the liquid lip that I'm gonna use is Anastasia Beverly Hills Confused. Next, I'm gonna pop on my Batty B lashes in the style Batty. The highlighter that I'm gonna to use today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills X um, Reezy highlighter. This highlighter is so pretty. Apply a little bit to the tip of my nose, a little bit on the bridge. Next, I'm gonna go back. Next, I'm going back into Jackie's palette and I'm gonna take the shade Zam and use that as the inner corner highlight. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Then I'm gonna set my makeup in place with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Take my hair down, make myself look decent, and I'll be back. So let's talk about the palette for a minute. Done with true class and elegance, typical Jackie Ina style. This palette is definitely a keeper. Um, I really do love it. I cannot wait to play with this palette more. You get 14 shades, and this palette does retail for $45 on AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com and I'm pretty sure wherever else they decide to launch it at, girl. But it was worth getting. So I'm really happy for Jackie. Um, I look forward to seeing what she has, you know, it's coming in the future. So Jackie, congratulations on your collab with ABH, girl. I am so proud of you, so happy for you. So guys, that concludes our video for today. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.